If you just publish your first book on Amazon KDP and it doesn't sell as you expected or it doesn't sell at all, well, I have good and bad news for you. I'm going to start with a bad one. This happens frequently. And the reality of KDP may not be as shiny as you imagine it. But the good news is that you are really only one good book away from achieving an extra source of income that could change your life significantly and that the next book can make the difference. So how many books do you really need to kickstart your self-publishing business? In my case, I made my first $1,000 per month after publishing between 5 and 10 books and now I'm making between 2 and 3,000 per month on average, having listed 15 to 20 books. But consider that the last 5 books are still fairly new. One thing that beginners usually struggle to understand about KDP publishing is that it is a very broad business and things may be unbelievably different depending on what you want to publish. Imagine that you want to start a local physical food business. It could be an ice cream kiosk, it could be a proper restaurant or anything in between, right? How will you choose? So before starting, of course, you should plan how much that would cost in advance possibly and ask yourself, can I afford a restaurant? Mm, I should hire too many people, maybe it's not for me. Should I make an ice cream kiosk instead? Maybe, but there is a bit of competition. But you know what? I can make a perfect tea, coffee, cappuccino, latte, macchiato, espresso. Perhaps I should make a coffee shop then. Well, with KDP it is exactly the same. Usually we divide books into two main categories, low content books and high content books. Low content books are journals, planners, empty stuff like that. I will include in this category also medium content books, which are puzzle books, coloring books, activity books and so on. And these are our ice cream kiosks or coffee shops, right? I could start on my own, investing very little money and pretty much doing all the work myself, but it's hard to sell ice cream in the winter, I suppose. And unfortunately for each coffee, the profit is very little. And this is what happens with low content books as well. They tend to sell more in a season, of course, but the profit per copy isn't very big. Then the other category is high content books, and I'm talking mainly about non-fiction books, but technically fiction books are included as well. And in our food example, high content books are the restaurants. They aren't necessarily better, but less people are gonna make them, because it takes more effort, so there is less competition. And like you would need to spend more typically to prepare a meal than a coffee, you would also charge customers more for a proper main course than you could charge for a coffee. If you follow me so far in this very weird analogy, you surely know by now where this is going. Do you want your KDP business to be a restaurant or a coffee shop? Your entire business model, production model, cost, revenues, team, and how many books you need will depend on this choice, which is absolutely fine to change if it doesn't happen to suit very well in the long term. And by the way, if you're interested in KDP self-publishing, make sure to subscribe to my channel to get all the tips and strategies you need to make your business successful. And speaking about business, I chose the restaurant business model. So for me, with high content books, it was a matter of publishing between 5 and 10 books to make at least $1,000 per month which was to me a significant amount, by the way. But from what I've seen, if you choose the ice cream kiosk or the coffee shop business model, the number will be way higher. I've seen people publishing hundreds of low content books before one really takes off. But surely when that happens, they can make in one month, typically December, what you can make in an entire year with an average high content book. But whatever your approach would be, I think that to be successful, at least when you're starting, you have to stick with one choice. Which is the business model that you want to build, that is more aligned with your interests or your skills? Are you an avid reader? Are you an artist or a graphic designer? And unfortunately for someone the choice could be forced. Even if you would prefer the restaurant model, so publishing high content books, producing a book can cost up to $1,000 or more in case you outsource everything. And the cost can be hard sometimes to sustain. So if you're in a season of your life where you couldn't afford to invest or lose money, then publishing low content books may be a reasonable option. And it's not a bad thing. You can make experience, learn the process and skills risk-free and make money along the way to finance more expensive books later. But, and this is my personal recommendation, if you're starting, don't try to make a bit of both. Think about this. Let's go back to our restaurant and coffee example. If you have to choose, do you prefer to buy a bigger oven for your kitchen or rather invest in a broader variety of coffee beans? If you are making low content books, would you invest more time into learning graphic design skills or spending time writing or reviewing the work of ghostwriters? 
instead of improving your skills. When you're starting and you're rushing to learn as many things as quickly as possible, focus is very important. Then, when you're scaling after, I would recommend starting to make some coffee in your restaurant or some sandwiches in your coffee shop, which means increasing ultimately your portfolio of books, whatever your strategy was at the start. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying to publish books only in one niche. And I'm not saying to persist doing what you're doing forever, even if you're not making any money. Remember this quote, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Absolutely love this. If your first book doesn't sell, you need to analyze what went wrong and you need to improve it for the next time. Otherwise, you are just endlessly repeating the same mistakes over and over and you can get discouraged and ultimately quit, losing your investment of time and money. But let me ask you this, whether you create a restaurant or a coffee shop, and I mean a real one here, would you expect to be profitable from day one? Would you expect to get back all the money you spend to pay people, loan, equipment in a month? But fortunately, we are still talking about online business here. And the beauty of it is that you can start for, no joke, literally hundreds of times less of the cost of a traditional business. And you can adjust things over time in a way that would be simply impossible for a traditional business. So everything is relative, of course, but the very concept behind is similar. I ultimately chose the restaurant business model with KDP, publishing high content books, because when I started, I had a full-time job and I could afford to invest or even to lose some money. So I tried to experiment with low content books as well, but ultimately decided to focus on high content books and this decision paid really well for me. But this is not the only mistake that beginners usually make. So if you want to start on the right foot, whatever your choice would be, watch this video here to avoid 25 more beginners mistakes that could prevent you from being successful on KDP. Take care.